Welcome back. In the previous video, I have discussed how to do spam classification using a similarity based or k nearest neighbor algorithm using Euclidean distance as well as weighted Euclidean distance. Link for that video is given in the description below. In this video, I will discuss how to do the spam classification using cosine similarity and Manhattan distance. First, we will discuss uh, how KNN model is used using Manhattan distance. Now, the question comes in front of us how to calculate the Manhattan distance. To calculate the Manhattan distance, we need to use this particular formula that is summation of absolute qi minus dj of i. qi is the query example, dj is the current uh, given example in this case. We need to calculate the absolute difference and then we need to take the summation here. Uh, again, I will show you one calculation. This is the example, the first example. This is the sixth, is the new example. Uh, absolute difference is nothing but uh, 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 whenever we take the difference, uh, we need to consider only the positive values here. Now, 0 minus 3, that is nothing but 3. 1 minus 0, that is 1. 1 minus 0, that is 1, and so on. We need to calculate. That's the absolute difference. And then we need to take the summation here. So, I have calculated the absolute difference here. And then I need to take the summation, that is nothing but the Manhattan distance here. Similarly, we have to calculate the distance from 6 to 2, 6 to 3 and so on. I have calculated all those things. These are the Manhattan distances uh, calculated for all examples in this case. Once you calculate it, again the same thing. The value of k is equal to 3 here. The meaning is we need to calculate or we need to find the three nearest neighbors. This is the most nearest neighbor. This is the second nearest neighbor. This is the third nearest neighbor in this case. Out of these uh, three nearest neighbors, uh, uh, two of them are false here and one is uh, true here. The meaning of this one is the new example will be classified as false as false is a majority in this case. Now, coming back to the last one that is uh, cosine similarity. The question is how to calculate the cosine similarity. Cosine similarity is always equal to summation of uh, dot product between query example and the given examples divided by square root of uh, summation of qi square multiplied by square root of summation of dj square where q is the query example and d is the given example in this case. So, first we will calculate this numerator that is nothing but uh, the dot product and then we calculate these two things. Then we will put all the values so that we will be able to get the cosine similarity in this case. Now, uh, the first one that is uh, id is equal to 1 in this case uh, that is the first example and id is equal to 6 that is the query example here. 6 is the query example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are the uh, given examples or that is nothing but D in this case. First, uh, we will try to calculate uh, uh, the dot product between 6 and 1. Uh, to calculate the dot product, first we will calculate the multiplication between 0 to 3 that is 0, 1 into 0 that is 0, 1 into 0 that is 0 and so on. We have calculated these values here. Now, once you calculate all these things, what is the thing we need to do? We need to take the summation over here. So, summation of all these values which is equal to 0, that is the dot product between uh, the new example that is 6 and the first example 1 here. Similarly, we have to calculate the dot product between all possibilities that is 6 to 2, 6 to 3, 6 to 4 and 6 to 5 here. Now, once you calculate this particular dot product, the next question comes in front of us is uh, we need to calculate the, uh, to calculate the cosine similarity, we need to calculate the denominator values here. That is nothing but square root of summation of qi square. So, first cal we calculate the qi square and then we take the summation and then we will take the square root here. Again, uh, we will calculate the di square that is nothing but uh, uh, the value of di for the first example is 3 here, di square is 9 here, 0 square is 0, 0 square is 0 and so on. Once you calculate all these things, we will take the summation, summation of all these values is equal to 9 and then square root here, the square root of 9 is equal to 3 in this case. So, we have calculated di square that is the example in this case. Similarly, second example, third example, fourth and fifth example we need to calculate. After that, we need to calculate uh, qi square. qi is nothing but what? Query example that is 0 square plus 1 square plus 1 square and so on. And then uh, we need to take the square root. We will get the uh, square root of uh, summation of qi square in this case. Those are the values I have written in this particular table. Now, once you calculate all these values, the next question is to calculate the cosine similarity. So, first cosine similarity is equal to summation of uh, dot, uh, that is the dot product between uh, qi and uh, dj here. So, what is qi and dj dot product? That is equal to 0. So, that is what I have written on the numerator side. Divided by summation of qi, uh, square root of summation of qi square here. What is that? That is equal to 2. That is calculated in the previous slide, you can notice here. And uh, multiplied by square root of summation of dj 
of i square which is equal to 3 in this case once you solve it you will get 0 in this case similarly uh, we have to go to this second one second one uh, dot product is equal to 3 here and then uh, again qi square is uh, 2 only and uh, uh, dj square is equal to 2.8284 here once you solve it you will get this value similarly we need to calculate the remaining three values once you solve it you will get all these uh, similarity scores in this particular case in this case uh, we have been told to use a 3nn that is nothing but uh, the value of k is equal to 3 here we need to calculate uh, or we need to find the three uh, nearest neighbors here whenever we use uh, cosine similarity uh, we should not consider the minimum value we need to consider the maximum value because the higher the value more similar the examples in this case now if you look at these uh, cosine similarities uh, this is the highest value that is nothing but uh, the fifth example is uh, more nearer to the new example that is six here and uh, second example is having the next highest uh, cosine similarity that is nothing but second example is more nearer to the new example similarly this uh, 0 0.4330 that is uh, fourth example is more nearer to the sixth one compared to the remaining two here now out of these three this is the uh, this is the first one second one and third one first one is false example second one is uh, true and uh, third one is again false between these three uh, false is having the majority the meaning of this one is the new example will be classified as false over here that means the new example is not a spam example in this case in this video i have discussed how can we apply similarity based learning or k nearest neighbor algorithm with a different uh, distance measure to uh, classify the new example into one of the class i hope the concept of uh, k nearest neighbor algorithm is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.